Welcome. In this demo of SAP Screen Personas, I'm going to show you how to record your keystrokes to create a simple script that streamlines workflows and improves user productivity. In our last demo, we created this screen as an alternative to the basic view. Let's go back to this screen and put some functionality behind this change password button. In order to do that, we're going to return to basic view and record our keystrokes. To start the recording, you just click on the record button. I'm now going to type in the SU01 transaction, which is going to take me to my user maintenance. I'll type in my username and then click on the change password button. I can now change my password, which I'm going to not do at this point. Let me stop that and save the file. Let me exit out and let's just return to the start screen. I'll return to my modified screen, enter edit mode, and now we can attach those keystrokes to the change password. If I wanted to do it manually, I could choose any of the items in this pull down list to push buttons, check and unchecked values, scroll, and so on. Instead, I'm just going to enter the keystrokes that I just recorded. So here's the change password that we just saved. And you can see it's an exact transcript of what I did on the screen. Typing in the transaction number, typing in my username, and then pushing the appropriate button. Let me click OK and now save and exit. You'll recall last time when I hit, typed in the transactions to change password, I had to go type it in and then click on a special button. Now, when I click on change password, it takes me directly here. So creating a simple script allowed me to reduce the number of keystrokes and bypass the screen. You could imagine how if you did this with a more complex transaction, you could really save your end users quite a bit of difficulty. That's how easy it is to simplify a screen using SAP screen personas. For more information, please visit www.sapscreenpersonas.com or talk to your SAP account executive.